Here I've sketched a parabola for part A, let's identify the x and y intercepts. For part B, let's find the domain and range of this function. Notice this is a function because it does pass the vertical line test. So x intercept or intercepts, let's look along the x axis. There are actually two x intercepts. Here is an x intercept and it has coordinates 0, 0, and then this is an x-intercept. The coordinates are 4, 0, 4, 0, and these are actually x-intercepts. What about y-intercept? Is there one? The answer is yes. Here's my y-axis, and it intercepts the y-axis at the origin or coordinates 0, 0. Now let's talk about domain and range. Remember domain has to do with x values, so that means how far left and how far right does this graph extend? Because of this arrow and this arrow, how far left to negative infinity, how far right to positive infinity. Domain then, all real numbers or in interval notation, we can put from negative infinity to positive infinity. What about the range? How far down and how far up? Because range has to do with y values. How far down? Again, negative infinity. And then how far up? Remember, range has to do, once again, with y values, so how far up to the y value of 4. So the range is from negative infinity to 4. Do I place a parenthesis or bracket about 4? This parabola actually attains the y value of 4, so I place a bracket. So there we go. X and Y intercepts, domain, range.